Well, I promised I would do a video on what a working file is, uh, and now I'm going to do that. So, a working file is a file that you can go back and edit uh, all the, the, the things like uh, the curvature of the text and this, the height of the text and what font you're using and um, what type of stitch is applied, like, you know, a fill versus a column stitch or uh, all these different um, variables that, that we can change. And when you save a embroidery design in a format that your machine can recognize, whether that's PES, if you're using Baby Locker Brother, or JEF, if you're using Janome for whatever reason, and uh, you know whatever format you're using those don't have as much information saved in them it's just where the stitches are so if I open a say a PES design I have a lot less stuff that I can adjust than if I had the working file for that design so to demonstrate that let me show you um, I'm just gonna bring in some text uh, and I'll you know type in something what is a working file question mark Hit apply okay oh shut up masterworks I'm not worried about that I created a element it's talking about this jump stitch right here to here about that we'll just ignore that for the time being um, okay so what is a working file so um, now I can do all the things that I talked about in my uh, lettering videos like change the size of an individual letter yeah 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 and this thing's just going to keep harassing me about that. Um, uh, you know, change the dimensions of things, make it bigger, make it smaller, um, all these different things. Um, so if I go and save this, I'm going to save it. Lettering video. I'll just delete this video or this uh, file later. But here, so we're going to save it as a BLF. First, so this is the working file, all right? And the program wants you to save it by default. It wants you to save it as a working file so that you don't forget to do this. Because if it if it just let you automatically go and save to PES, you'd never remember to save it as a working file, or at least I wouldn't. So we save it. Now we're also going to go and save it as a PES that my machine can read, PES. So letteringvideo.pes. Now I have two different files now. I have one that's letteringvideo.pes, one that's letteringvideo.blf. So close this now go to open and I've got my lettering video this one here is the BLF file and this one is the PES file so I'm gonna open the PES file this is the one that my machine could recognize open it up and look nothing I do is gonna give me my properties menu that lets me change what it says what font it is any of that stuff this just is what it is now can I resize this sure and resize it, make it bigger, make it smaller, um, and the machine will, or the the software rather will recalculate the stitches for me up to a certain point and and everything. But I can't actually change what the text says. So if I misspelled something in here, or you know I wanted to change it in some other way, uh, I'm kind of stuck because the PES file can't be edited. However, if I go back up and open the BLF file. Look, I've got my properties menu here. Maybe I don't want it to say working file. What is a PES file? You know, whatever. It doesn't matter what it says. Hit apply. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember it was yelling at me about that. What is a PES file now? Okay, so that's the difference between a working file and your finished PES file is, is the PES file cannot be edited. And here, if I go back to my text tools, you'll see I have all my little handles that I had before. Um, and I can edit this completely and it's the same for any design that you create in here if you save it as a PES you're not gonna go back and edit it in any way uh, other than you know simple things like changing the size and uh, stuff like that so that's the difference between a working file and a finished embroidery file that can be read by the machine so that's it I'll see you next video